name is Lisa McCrary, also known as Trainer Lisa. I work with Trainer Dan, and I am actually filling in for him today. Um, and one day soon, today is not the day, but I will um, love to tell you a lot about me, but we have a special guest today and I'd rather hear his story because he has some really great stuff that he wants to talk about. So Tanner, are you out there? I'm here, thank you. All right, well, welcome to um, the call today and um, I will, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on over to you. All right. Well, thank you, Lisa. And thank you guys for jumping on and taking time out of your day. I know, you know, we're right in the kind of the heart of things as far as the time for your day. And I know you're always out there working, finding new clients out in the field. So I do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day. And, you know, obviously, I don't know everyone's background as far as what markets you're going after, what product lines you're primarily focused on now. But for those of you who may be doing more on the health side, the Medicare side, or even the P&T side, or a little bit of life, I think you're going to find some really good opportunities to help grow and expand your business utilizing some of the life insurance products that we have to offer. Specifically today, just like Lisa said, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to be focused around the term series of products and we'll certainly do another follow-up call and you guys are welcome to reach out to me at any point in time to go into our lineup of permanent products. We're really the market leader in index universal life and that's really our specialty. And so I think you'll find some great opportunities there as well. So I'll give you guys kind of a 30 second rundown on who is National Life Group. You know, I know we're, I guess, a relatively new carrier offering that you guys have through AHCP. So I want to give you an idea of kind of where we operate, where we don't, where we might be a good fit for you. But as far as the company itself, it is a mutual company. National Life has actually been around a little over 170 years, located kind of headquartered out of Montpelier, Vermont, if you've ever been in that part of the world, very unique area, A plus rated company. Really our specialty would be on the index products in this stage. So we do a ton of term life insurance business. We do a ton of index universal life insurance business. We do a lot of index annuity business as well. So that's really our specialty. And we'll get into some of the features here and really what kind of makes national life shine. But I think you'll find that the offerings are very competitive rock solid company behind it. I really do think this is the kind of thing that can help you grow your business. So like I mentioned today, obviously we're focused really more on the term side of things. We'll keep it simple, term is straightforward. I think we all know that. We've got a few differentiating factors that I think will make our term more appealing than the typical term type of policy out there. I, I kind of look at, look at term this way and may or may not be a good example for you to start thinking about it. But if you're out there and you're looking to fill up your car, right, you're saying, I need to fill up my car, I need to get gas, a couple of gas stations side by side, it's really just viewed as they're the same thing, right? One's 191 a gallon, one's 189 a gallon, you're probably just going to go for the cheaper one, right? It's all kind of the same, it's a commodity, no differentiation really between the two, kind of all the same type of thing. But what if, by some rhyme or reason, some some new innovation that came into play. One of these companies, their gas product, all of a sudden had a, a specific ingredient attitude that increased your miles per gallon by 20%. Or what if it made your engine run much more efficiently so it lasted another 30, 40, 50,000 miles? Well, all of a sudden you've got some differentiation there, right? So maybe it's not quite the same. You'd certainly weigh in that factor, wouldn't purely be about price at that point. It would really be about what is the true value proposition. So that's kind of what we've leaned into as far as our term products. Yes, they're going to be competitively priced. Yes, that is part of the deal, of course, with term. That is the goal to get a low price offering. But you're going to find, as we walk through this, some factors that are very different from your typical term policy that I would argue make this not just a commodity type of policy that really do make this the kind of thing you can bring in and present to your client and add a ton of value. So really what we're going to talk through is when is term a fit? When does this make sense? What's unique about national life? And then what makes it easy to do business with national life? That's, that's really one of the key components. Everyone out there, we, there's competitive products, there's great products out there. And that's all fine to talk about, and that's typically what you hear about. 
But if you can't get cases issued quickly and efficiently, it doesn't really matter. That, that is a huge factor as well. So we'll get into all three of these. Probably everyone on the call knows what term life insurance is, of course. You know, if you're a licensed, you're in the business, you've probably sold some life insurance. Obviously, this is low-cost coverage, has a guaranteed death benefit for a certain amount of time, just depending on which term you pick. Set premium, obviously no cash value included as well with that. Very straightforward, very affordable. Low-cost coverage is really what we're going for here. So guaranteed premium, the lowest possible dollar outlay relative to how much coverage you can get. So this is, this is obviously key and it's a must-have for those scenarios where a client doesn't necessarily have the finances in place to pay for permanent coverage at that point in time. And we'll get into kind of how it's different here as well, but we kind of touch on this bottom point here. If you ever heard of the terminology of living benefits or accelerated benefit riders on life insurance, those all came from National Life. We do include those as well on our term and all of our permanent products. And Again, we'll get into a little bit more of this, but the point right above that, that conversion privilege to any, any permanent product we offer is incredibly important. I would tell you regardless of what carrier, what term product you're offering, check that con conversion privilege. Because we do not know what will happen to your client's health in the future. With this conversion privilege, you're locking in that rate class today you don't need to go through underwriting again in the future to get a permanent policy. And you will get that same rate class regardless of what your health is in the future. I think that is incredibly important. And the other important part is allowing the client to convert to any permanent product we offer. We don't just have one garbage product that all the conversions go to. You have access to our full lineup of permanent products. So you probably get a pretty good idea. There's a pretty good feel for this. Where does term come into play? Obviously it's, the most affordable type of policy you can find out there. We do have the living benefits. You kind of move up the spectrum. You've got universal life policies, index universal life policies that are obviously going to have a higher cost initially anyway, but do build up a really nice cash value that can be accessed on a tax-free basis. And then you've got more fully guaranteed products like whole life that have guaranteed cash value growth, are going to have much higher cost structure, but do have guarantees built in as well. And are also going to build up a nice amount of cash value. So that's kind of how you work your way up the spectrum as well. So you've got cost relative to guarantees built in. This is a huge market for us. As a company, I would say, really until about the last eight or 10 years, we've had really a main street type of focus. We still do, this is our, our core market base. It is, you know, your main street, middle America, the type of client who really needs that coverage, really needs those living benefits. You know, think about these examples right here. Young families, maybe they don't have a ton of money to work with to buy the permanent coverage they need. For them, the number one priority at that point in their life is protection. I'm all for permanent life insurance. Big fan, ton of it myself. I love the product. But I would much rather have a client with the proper amount of term coverage than not enough permanent coverage. And maybe it's a combination of both, but there is really no more affordable way to buy the amount of coverage they need than using term. I think these types of scenarios, it really does make sense. Let's get them the coverage they need. Down the road, they can always then convert that if they want to go down that path. What about small business owners? What about people doing buy-sell agreements? They have a partner and they're saying, we just really want to minimize the cost, but we want to make sure we have coverage in place if something were to happen to one of the business partners. That could be a great way to do it. Get them the coverage they need. If down the road they again want to convert that, they can do that as well. So huge marketplace for those trying to really minimize the out-of-pocket costs. When we start talking about national life term, we, we kind of present this as our three C's. And this is what makes it unique. The pricing is very competitive. It is fully convertible to any permanent product that we offer. And we'll touch more into this, but the underwriting is really hard to beat as far as making it very easy to do business with National Life. And then, of course, I'd say as much of a factor as anything, having those living benefits that we'll touch on in a bit adds a tremendous amount of value compared to what you typically get with term products.
So within our lineup, you can pick whichever offering you want. We have 10 year, 15 year, 20 year, 30 year, and we also have ART or annual renewable term. The base amount minimum is 100,000. Now I mentioned living benefits. So this is that whole idea of life insurance you do not have to die to use. So these, these accelerated benefit riders, again, we're all created by National Life. So anything you see in the industry right now, anyone who's talking about living benefits, those all came from National Life. So we tend to be very competitive with these, and they're built in with no additional cost to all of our products. So this covers things like terminal illnesses, chronic illnesses, and then, of course, critical illnesses and critical injury, which is really unique to National Life as well. And what's nice about these, they're built in, they're automatically part of the policy. And the other nice thing about it, when you're running a quote or an illustration, you can actually select four ages, and it will tell you what the payout would be to your client if they happen to have one of these conditions at those ages. So I think that's incredibly important to make it much more real for your client. So that your client is not going to understand what the payouts are, how much they can get out of this policy, how these work. Because keep in mind, this is paying out the death benefit while they're still alive. And you can do a full acceleration of the policy, a partial, anything in between. You can really do whatever you want. And the nice thing with these, your client gets a check. Your insured gets a check. They can do whatever they want. So I think that is a great amount of coverage to add on and no additional cost within these policies. And again, just kind of backing up, terminal illness, just to give you guys a quick rundown on these. Obviously, that's when they're diagnosed to pass away within 24 months. For a chronic illness, it's not a separate long-term care rider, but it has the same triggers as long-term care. That's if the client is unable to perform two of the six activities of daily living, or if they have a significant cognitive impairment, that one would come into play. And that one actually pays out a monthly benefit. So you get 2% of that death benefit every month for up to 50 months with that one, five zero. Whereas critical illness and critical injury, this is a total of 17 different triggers. Think about everything from heart attack, stroke, cancer, several other heart conditions, coma, paralysis, burn, brain injury. It covers a whole host of terrible conditions that can happen in your client's life. And this one pays out as a lump sum. So you've got the whole lineup of living benefits built into our term products as well. And I already mentioned this, but the nice thing about it, you get the check, you do what you want to do with it. That could be making changes to your house to accommodate your needs. It could be experimental treatment. It could be additional care. It could be paying for outside help. It could be paying family. It could be paying for any. It could be paying to keep your business afloat. It could be paying for those additional medical expenses while you're getting treatment that are not covered. It could be paying just to cover your lost wages when you're getting the treatment you need. So you can use this for really whatever you want to use that for. And I already touched on this, but again, the conversion privilege, the ability to take this term policy, convert it to any permanent product that we offer without going through underwriting again, is one of the most important features of any term policy out there. If you do not have this, you're frankly, you're really asking for trouble. Because think about what if a client's health history changes 5, 10, 20 years down the road when they're ready to convert this, and they don't have that privilege. Or the carrier only offers one product they can convert to, and it is not an appealing product at all. We've unfortunately run into that quite a bit. With our permanent products, you can then convert this. I'm sorry. With our term product, you can then convert this to any permanent product that we offer. That is incredibly important. And I, again, I would highly encourage you to take a look at that regardless of what carrier you happen to be selling. This is built in, it's contractual, it does not have an additional cost for conversion, it is just, it's part of the way this product is designed. All right, and the, just a few quick points on that. As far as conversion privileges, for the 10 year term, you do get the full 10 years, 15 year term, you get 12 years to convert this from issue. 20 year term, you get 15 years. In our 30 year term, you have 20 years to convert that. And it does end, either at that, the number of years I mentioned or at age 70, but you always get at least five years. So in other words, if you're age 67 at issue, you would still at least get five years to convert that policy. 
All right, let's move to the underwriting side of things. So again, I already kind of touched on this, but it's all great to talk about products, features, how to sell this to your client, markets you can go after, where is this a fit? But if you can't get policies issued and can't get them issued quickly and efficiently, it really doesn't matter. So we've really alleviated a lot of the headaches, a lot of the concerns with the underwriting process. Because typically if you act, ask clients, agents, advisors, what is the biggest headache you have with life insurance? It's usually this right here. It's underwriting, it's getting exams completed and scheduled. It's that whole process that can really drag these cases out from what should be a five day, six day, seven day process to a two month process. So we've been able to alleviate a lot of that with this program where your client can actually get their life insurance policy without having an exam, without any fluids. So it is still fully underwritten, but we're just doing this underwriting without fluids, without exams, to get these things issued as quickly as possible. And here's kind of the parameters of that. We can now go up to two million in coverage, as long as they're age 50 and under, without an exam. So no fluid, no exam. From age 51 to 60, we can still go up to a million, and then from 61 to 65, we can go up to 250,000 without an exam. You know, obviously we can do policies much larger than that, but at that point in time, we would need the full underwriting, full exam done. The great thing about this, you still have all rate classes available. This is not the kind of thing where everyone gets standard or a certain rate class. You have everything, standard, preferred, elite, rated cases, and every, every rate class is available. This is just a way to make it as quick as possible for you to get these cases issued, get you paid, get your client the coverage that they need. That is really what we're here for. And we are turning these around as quickly as anyone in the industry. This is absolutely a differentiator. We, and I don't know if everyone uses EAP or paper or what, how you typically submit your cases. Highly recommend EAP if at all possible. It'll make your life a lot easier. If you submit these via EAP, which is actually also connected to our illustration system, you can submit everything right there. You don't need to order an exam, don't need to do any fluids. If these come through clean, these are issuing very quickly. We're talking within a couple of days on some of these smaller cases, uh, some of these more simple cases. Now, obviously, that can be a little bit longer if, if for whatever reason we need to order exam, or I'm sorry, if we need to order a physician statement or anything along those lines, any kind of medical records, then we're somewhat at the mercy of the doctor's office or the clinic where they have the records. But we are getting these things turned around very quickly. And part of that is we have put millions and millions of dollars into our underwriting engine as well. So as you'll notice as you go through our EAP process, how it works is really you input your age and information first, you lock that in. The first thing a client does is they apply their signature to sign off on the HIPAA authorization form. So from there, we can start pulling whatever data we can acquire utilizing that on your client. Start getting things from the MIB, start getting a prescription drug report, and from there, the EAP can actually ask reflective questions based on what your client puts in and based on what record it's pulling in the background. That gets to the point where by the end of that EAP, it's more or less ready to go. You're not going to be going back and forth trying to get additional forms. If it needs that form based on the information it's getting there, it will have that form built into the EAP process. So maybe it takes five more minutes than the normal EAP, but it's going to save you a ton of time, days and days and days of going back and forth to collect additional forms, get additional signatures, everything like that. You know, if you've written any life insurance business, you know how long that can drag out. So this is absolutely huge in terms of making your life easier, getting your client's cases issued as quickly as possible. All right, a few other things here just to be aware of. All this is showing is the age ranges as far as when these products are available. So for the 10 year, we can go clear up to age 75, 15 year, 75 as well. At uh, For the 20 year term, and you may have noticed 10G, 20G, 15G, all that means is just guaranteed. The premium is guaranteed for the whole period. And then the 30 year is available through age 55. These do have a policy fee of $75. That is commissionable as well. So that's part of the commission, which maybe doesn't sound like a whole lot, but if you're thinking about your average term policy, not having that, 
policy fee in there as part of the commissionable amount to you as the agent can be a significant amount of that total premium, that total compensation. The other thing we do, if you ever are sending in a policy, say for, for spouses together, we'll waive the policy fee on the second, on the second policy as well. Other thing that is important for some of the larger cases, we do have banding within this product. And if you're not familiar with that, all of that really means is as you buy more insurance, you get a lower cost per thousand. So you move up to higher bands, you get a lower cost per thousand. It makes a big difference on those larger cases. It makes them more competitively priced. It really does make a significant impact. So when we start talking about or thinking about where does this make sense, you know, kind of going back to my first point, which may or may not have been a good example, but if you think about gas stations, I mean, that's kind of the ultimate commodity, right? You Oil, crude oil converted into gas. That is really kind of the ultimate commodity in the sense of viewing this as all being the same. I think that's what your average client, as frankly, as well as the average agent out there, how they view term. It's all the same, just give me the lowest possible price, that's all that matters. You're not really looking under the hood, you're not really seeing the full picture at that point. Now, bear in mind, we're gonna be competitively priced, don't get me wrong, but to me, our real value is the full benefit that we offer. Full conversion to any permanent product that we offer, the full living benefit lineup, the full suite of living benefit lineups that are the best in the industry that you're gonna find, and an underwriting process is gets these issued as quickly as anyone in the industry, gets your clients the coverage that they need without a lot of headaches, without a bunch of back and forth, gets them the coverage they need, gets you paid quickly, gets you ready to move on from there. So I think that really right there sums up what we're doing different and really what does make the national life offering in the term life insurance space a very competitive, very compelling offering. So I'll, I'll go ahead and open it up from here. If you guys do have any questions now, obviously you guys are welcome to reach out through HCP, through myself. I'm really your direct contact through National Life. Be glad to get on a call with any of you. You're welcome to email me, call me, whatever you need. We will sure get you the support that you need. My name is Tanner, T-A-N-N-E-R. My last name is Isaacson. It's spelled I-S-A-A-C-S-O-N, and again, with National Life Group. And if you want to give me a call, feel free to give me a call. You can shoot me a text as well. I'm at 214-769-5713. And then my email is just T Isaacson, so it's T I S A A C. S O N at nationallife.com. Feel free to reach out to myself. We have an entire team available and ready for you guys internally. And as far as direct access to underwriting, case management, whatever you guys need, don't hesitate to reach out and we'll do whatever we can to help you. Thank you so much, Tanner, as well. I will make sure that Dan gets the contact information for you to all the folks that was on this call. So if they have any direct questions, they can just contact you directly. But thank you. This yeah. was some really great information. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good all rest right. of your day. Thank you. You guys have a great day. And thanks for joining the call.